What's good? Y'all doing all right? But I know it's been a hot minute. Um, but I got a banger for y'all, man. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Today, I'm gonna be doing a review on the GVM um, Pro, GVM Pro 650B um, bi-colored line. All right, so this is how this gonna go down, man. It's gonna be a short video. The first half of this video, I'm just gonna touch on a couple things that I like, a couple key points, why I think this light is a great bang um, for your buck in terms of um, affordability to performance. And then the second half, um, I'll be breaking down how I lit this particular talking head. So the first thing, um, first pro for this light, man, is the build quality. When you first get the 650B in your hands, you can definitely tell and feel that GVM did not cut any corners when it comes to quality. This thing is built like a tank and it's heavy. So um, just keep that in mind. The second part, man, that I love about this light is the different fan modes. Just straight up, man. You guys have silent, smart, and high. Um, right now, this is on the um, smart mode. You can't even hear. I can't even hear. So, like, if you're working in a interview setup, I think this light definitely would provide you a lot of um, value in terms of how quiet those fans are. Of course, you have your 12 dynamic light effects, um, standard with every other light. So you have your bad bulb, your lightning, your explosions, and um, all that good stuff. All right, and then a couple other positives that I like, that I really appreciate, um, is the length of the cord. One of the biggest, biggest, biggest positive is the price. It's just right under a thousand dollars to get a light this powerful and this affordable, I think is a great bargain. And I like what GVM has done um, by pricing this very competitively. So yeah. That's pretty much it on some of the positives. Now let's touch a, a little bit on some of the negatives. And like I said, these are, to me, they're not necessarily deal breakers, but there are things that um, I'm like, man, I wish they would have tweaked a little bit. And the first thing for me, and this is just being a little bit more um, nitpicky, is the placement of the power cords and where you plug it in is at the bottom. I would have preferred if they put it on top. And then the second thing that's very picky is the mount. Um, so the mount that you attach the ballast onto your combo stand and um, C stand. I mean, it is secure in a way but it, it doesn't give me the confidence because it's, it's a little wobbly. Now let's go ahead and break down this shot. Um, how I lit it, my thought process with the cinematography and yeah, so. Oh, all right, so the first thing, my key light, um, as you, you guys are seeing right now in the B-roll, um, I have the four, um, the Forza. No, I have the GVM um, light at 96%. Now I'm going to explain why I have it at 96% here shortly, um, but it's going through the softbox that they sent me. Um, I have that graded and it's, so I'm double breaking. So what that means is, you know, 
your double diffusing light. So you, your main light is going through it, either a soft box or like a, a four by four, and then it's going through another layer of um, diffusion. And that's what I'm doing for my key is I, I have, you know, the light at 96% going through a full grid um, four by four um, diffusion fabric. Now, that's sort of why I have the light at 96% because the more layers of diffusion you use, the more output is sucked out. So, especially since you're using a full grid, um, that definitely cut out the intensity of the light. So I have it at 96%. And for me, my style of shooting, since I like to shoot moodier stuff, um, setting my exposure, um, I needed this light to be pretty much almost maxed out in terms of power, you know, output. In regular situations, you might not even need this to be um, this high, but to get my proper balance for my key side, key side, to that little background um, thingy that I did, um, it needed to be done. Of course, I'm double breaking and um, pushing, pushing the light through a lot of diffusion. Um, so I needed it to be that bright. So that's my key. And for the backlights, I kind of did a couple things. Um, well, I used one light. The GVM 300B back there, and I'm pushing that through um, a full grid um, diffusion cloth as well, and that's a that's a little that's a little D, that's a little DIY um, octagon shape um, thing that I cut out just to um, add visual interest back there and to just help me with that scene a little bit. And I had um, positioned the light to reflect on my refrigerator, right there as you guys can see. And that is adding another layer of um, visual interest. If your footage sucks, if your footage is not cinematic, hey, add haze, literally. Instant cheat code, man. Y'all don't understand. This scene was a lot more boring until I salt bay with some haze. You know what I'm saying? Salt bay, the haze. Yes, sir. But anyways, no, I just added haze because I'm a big fan of haze and using haze correctly definitely helped to create um, that depth and that separation. Um, but that is pretty much it with this um hopefully you guys like it now overall you know if i've said this earlier would i recommend this light absolutely